Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the main demo. In this domain I have just installed the theme and the included plugins. The first step is to activate the theme. For that I will need to add here the license code from Team Forest. After you added the license you need to click check license and now my team is active. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities. For the team included icons to be imported along with the demo import, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. You will need to go to plugins. I have the plugin already installed. I will activate it and set it to apply only from admin. Now I can proceed with the main demo import. So I will go to Team Options, Import Demo. This is the main demo. I will click Import Demo, Continue and Import. The import process might take a few minutes. The demo was imported successfully and now I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First, I will show the steps that you need to take in Team Options. So I will go to VP Residence Options. I will first go to Search, Advanced Search Form. The search type 6 will be selected and in this case you might have missing tabs as on import the categories will have different IDs. The next step is to select the categories that will show as tabs. I will save the change and refresh the page. Now I will add the price for the price slider for each category and I will save the change. These settings will apply for the team search form. Next, I will go to map section. Here you will be able to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in Team Options. These are the steps that you need to take in Team Options after the demo import, but you can review each section and add your own details. Next, I will show the steps that you need to take for the homepage to look exactly as the official demo one. The main demo homepage was entirely created with Elementor. First, I will show the steps that you need to take to make the search form show as the official demo. The search on the homepage was created with the search builder widget, so I will edit the page with Elementor. The categories for the tabs will not be selected as on import the categories will have different IDs. So you can see that the tabs are enabled. Here I will select all three categories. I will save the change made. I will refresh the page. And now I will review the fields to make sure that they have a valid category assigned. For the invest category, I will need to select the tab manually. I will save the changes made. Going back to the home page, you will see now that the search form is showing correctly. Next on the page, you will have this section. and this one. The two sections are created with widgets that will display property categories. The categories will need to be reviewed in the home page and for each category used in the widget you will need to manually upload images. So I will go back to the page editor. I will select this section. You will see that here you have categories imported from the demo. You can remove any category that you do not wish to show and add new ones. I will check the other section as well. Here the categories have not been imported so I will need to select them manually. I will select random categories just to show how to work with this widget. I 
I will save the changes made and now I will go to admin and manually upload images for the categories that I used in these two widgets. I will go to admin. Under properties you will find all property categories. Categories, types, city, neighborhood, county, state, features and amenities and property status. I will start with categories. To upload an image for a category you will need to edit category. Press upload image button and select an image from your device. Press import into post and update. The same steps will need to be taken for each category that you selected in the widget. Next, I will go to neighborhood and add an image for a different category. I will press upload image. I will select an image. I will press insert into post and press update. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after I will show the results. I added all images. Now the sections are showing correctly and the home page is now complete. Next, I will set permalinks correctly. I will go to admin, settings, permalinks. I will set them to post name and save changes. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. And next, in this video, I will show how to edit some demo sections. I will start with home page. Here you will have the home page header that was created with Elementor. I will show how to change the background image. I will go to the Elementor editor. I will enable navigation so I can access the sections easier. I will click the first section. And in style, you will be able to remove the image and upload your own. I will go back to home page. And next I will show how to edit the content from the tab section. This is the section. Each tab was created with a separate template. In order to edit the tab content, you will need to edit the template that was used for each tab. First I will go to the home page editor. I will scroll down to find the tabs widget. This is the one. Here you will see the name of each template used. For the second section we use tab content 2 and for the third we use tab content 4. You can edit each template directly from the home page. Here when you hover over edit with Elementor you will have these sections and we'll have fast access to each template. Here you will be able to edit the top content. You will be able to edit the text, change image and add other details. You can also edit the templates by going to admin, Elementor templates and here you will find all templates imported along with the demo, including the tabs ones. You will need to click edit with Elementor and you will be able to change the content. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.